We made it. Мы искали вас, доктор. Теперь вы пойдете со мной. А где ваш надоедливый маленький друг, а? Right here, pal. See you, my friend. Likewise. Listen, we don't have much time. I have passports for you and the doctor. Take them and get on the train. Thank you again for your help. Always glad to be of service. Now, excuse me, I must be going. If I see here, you could jeopardize the mission. Good luck. Until we meet again. Пожалуйста, документы. Here you go. Everything should be in order. Спасибо. Проходите.
Hold on. Пожалуйста, ваши билеты. Of course. I have them right here. Доброго пути. You can relax, doctor. We're safe now. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. John, I can't thank you enough for getting me out of there. I used to think I was serving my country by helping the biopreparat. But I realize now that nothing good can come of their experiments. The best way for me to help my people is to make sure the world knows what's happening there. We need to put a stop to this. I'm sure it was a difficult decision to make. But you're doing the right thing. The right thing? If only it were that simple. To my country, I am a traitor. I'll never be able to set foot on my home soil again. My home, my friends... Gone. But I'm not a traitor, right? Doctor, you really shouldn't. Oh, don't mind my ramblings, John. I'll be fine. I only wish my former comrades would realize the consequences of what they're doing. Most of them don't even understand the destructive potential of the weapons they're creating. Millions of men, women, children could die at the press of a button. How can you win a war that no one survives? How can you win a war at all, for that matter? Those men are greedy and selfish, willing to sell their knowledge and experience to the highest bidder. 
Don't they realize? No. No, I don't suppose they do. Which is why I had to escape. With your help, Doctor, a lot of lives can be saved. Exactly, exactly. Many lives. There are terrorist groups all over the world that would kill for the information in my head. What if these bioweapons fall into the wrong hands? No one would be safe. I couldn't live with myself if I allowed that to happen. I'm going to tell your people everything I know. Names, dates, places, everything. I can only hope they can come up with a way to stop these experiments or develop countermeasures against them. We can, and we will. Do you remember the outbreak in Sverdlovsk in 1979? Vaguely. I seem to recall. 68 people died along with hundreds of animals. Their blood is on my hands. We were developing an extremely deadly combination of four strains of anthrax in a nearby weapons lab in the Urals. Our safety protocols were compromised, and there was nothing we could do to stop it. I was lucky to escape with my life. The government called it a natural infection carried by the animals. I can assure you there was nothing natural about it. We were fortunate to contain it before it spread any further. I should have realized then the horror I was unleashing. You know, I can still hear the screams. Ah, I still hear the screams. God help me, John. What have I done?